Difficulties strengthen the mind, as labor does the body. Seneca Life presents each of us with days of trial and hardship, testing the fortitude of our spirits. These moments, though daunting, are opportunities to fortify our resolve and grow in virtue. The philosophy of Stoicism, ancient and enduring, offers wisdom to navigate these challenges with resilience and grace. Consider this. Just as labor strengthens the body, so too do difficulties strengthen the mind. The Stoic path teaches us to embrace adversity, to see in it the means to cultivate inner strength and wisdom. In this discourse, we shall explore 13 pieces of Stoic counsel, each designed to arm you with the strength to face life's trials. By the end, you will be equipped with practical strategies to confront adversity with equanimity and purpose. Let us proceed and uncover the Stoic principles that will transform your approach to the hardships of life. 1. Embrace adversity. The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. Marcus Aurelius. In the face of adversity, we find our true strength. The Stoics teach us to welcome challenges, for they are the crucible in which our character is forged. Each obstacle is not merely a hindrance but a stepping stone, a vital component of our journey. Consider the river that encounters a boulder in its path. It does not cease to flow, but rather finds a way around or over the obstruction, carving a new course. So too must we adapt and persevere when faced with life's difficulties. By embracing adversity, we cultivate resilience, transforming impediments into opportunities for growth and progress. To view obstacles as part of the path is to understand that every challenge holds within it the seed of improvement. Each trial is an invitation to develop our virtues, to strengthen our resolve, and to refine our wisdom. In this way, what stands in the way truly becomes the way, guiding us toward greater strength and clarity. Imagine a craftsman shaping a piece of iron. The hammer strikes not to destroy, but to mold, each blow refining the metal into something stronger and more purposeful. Our challenges are the hammer blows of life, shaping us into more resilient beings. When faced with a difficult situation, do not shy away or feel defeated. Instead, ask yourself, what can I learn from this? How can this hardship make me better? By shifting your perspective from resistance to acceptance, you unlock the power within the challenge. Reflect on past challenges and how you overcame them as this strengthens your belief in your resilience. Reframe the situation by viewing the adversity as a stepping stone rather than a setback, which changes your approach to the problem. Finally, take action by breaking down the challenge into manageable steps and making progress, no matter how small, to build confidence. Engage with your adversities as if they were your greatest teachers, for in truth they are. They show you your limits and push you beyond them. They reveal your weaknesses, allowing you to turn them into strengths. They test your patience and resolve, making you more enduring. By embracing adversity, you turn life's trials into a path of personal growth. This stoic wisdom teaches us that our greatest struggles are not just obstacles, but opportunities to become our best selves. To focus on what you can control. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. Marcus Aurelius The essence of Stoic wisdom lies in understanding and accepting the boundary between what we can control and what we cannot. This distinction is crucial, for it liberates us from the futile effort of trying to change the unchangeable and allows us to direct our energy toward what truly matters. Consider the sailor navigating a stormy sea. He cannot calm the waves or control the wind, but he can adjust his sails, steer his vessel, and remain steadfast at the helm. So too must we, in the turbulent waters of life, focus on our own actions and responses. By recognizing that our power lies in how we choose to react to external events, we find inner strength and peace. In practical terms, this means acknowledging that while we cannot control the behavior of others, the outcomes of situations, or the natural events around us, we can control our thoughts, emotions, and actions. For instance, in a workplace setting, 
You cannot dictate how a colleague will behave or the decisions of higher management. However, you can control your professionalism, the quality of your work, and your attitude toward challenges. By focusing on your own performance and response, you contribute positively to your environment and maintain your integrity. Real life examples abound. Imagine being stuck in traffic. The congestion and delays are beyond your control, but how you choose to spend that time is within your power. Instead of succumbing to frustration, you could listen to an inspiring podcast, practice mindfulness, or simply take deep breaths to remain calm. This shift in focus transforms a potentially stressful situation into an opportunity for growth and learning. In relationships, we often wish to change others or influence their actions. Yet, true strength and harmony arise from understanding that we can only control our own behavior. By consistently acting with kindness, patience, and integrity, we set a powerful example and create a positive ripple effect. The Stoics teach us that focusing on what we can control is not about resignation, but empowerment. It is about taking responsibility for our own lives and actions. When faced with a difficult situation, pause and ask yourself, what aspects of this can I control? How can I respond in a way that aligns with my values and virtues? For example, if you're facing a health challenge, while you may not control the illness itself, you can control your lifestyle choices, your attitude towards treatment, and your mental outlook. By focusing on healthy habits, staying positive, and seeking support, you take charge of your journey in a constructive manner. By channeling your efforts towards what you can control, you build resilience and find peace amidst the chaos. This focus not only reduces stress and anxiety, but also empowers you to take meaningful action. Remember your mind is a powerful tool. Use it to navigate life's challenges with wisdom and grace and you will find strength in every situation. Three, practice mindfulness and presence. Be present. It is the only moment that truly exists. Marcus Aurelius. The wisdom of Stoicism teaches us the profound value of being fully present in each moment. In challenging times, our minds often drift to past regrets or future anxieties, but the key to resilience and peace lies in grounding ourselves in the present. Imagine a musician performing on stage if their mind wanders to a previous mistake or worries about the next piece, they lose the harmony of the current note. Similarly, in the symphony of life, our focus on the present moment ensures that we live each note fully, creating a melody of resilience and grace. Staying present is particularly vital during hard days. When difficulties arise, it's easy to become overwhelmed by the magnitude of our problems. However, by anchoring ourselves in the here and now, we can manage challenges one step at a time. This approach not only reduces stress, but also enhances our ability to respond effectively. Modern analogies help illustrate this principle. Consider a tightrope walker, whose success depends entirely on maintaining focus on each step, rather than the distance remaining. In life, mindfulness operates similarly. By concentrating on the task at hand, we prevent the mind from being scattered by worries about the future or the burdens of the past. To cultivate mindfulness, we can employ practical exercises designed to anchor us in the present. One such exercise is mindful breathing. Simply sit quietly and focus on your breath, observing each inhalation and exhalation. When your mind wanders, gently guide it back to your breath. This practice centers your thoughts and calms your mind. Another effective exercise is the body scan. Lie down or sit comfortably, close your eyes, and bring your attention to each part of your body, starting from your toes and moving upwards to your head. Notice any sensations without judgment, simply observing and acknowledging them. This technique helps ground you in your physical presence and alleviates stress. Engaging in mindful activities also reinforces presence. Whether it's a walk in nature, savoring a meal, or practicing yoga, these activities encourage you to immerse yourself fully in the experience. For example, during a walk, pay attention to the sounds, smells, and sights around you. Notice the feeling of your feet on the ground and the rhythm of your breath. In the workplace, mindfulness can be practiced by focusing on one task at a time. Rather than multitasking, dedicate your full attention to a single project. This not only enhances the quality of your work, 
but also reduces the mental clutter that contributes to stress. Moreover, integrating mindfulness into daily routines can be immensely beneficial. Set aside a few minutes each day for meditation or quiet reflection. Use this time to clear your mind and reaffirm your presence in the moment. Over time, this practice strengthens your ability to remain centered amidst life's turbulence. By embracing mindfulness and presence, we harness the power of the present moment. This not only enriches our daily experiences, but also equips us to face adversity with calm and clarity. Remember, the present is the only moment that truly exists. Live it fully, and you will find the strength and peace to navigate any challenge. 4. Accept what happens. Accept whatever comes to you woven in the pattern of your destiny for what could more aptly fit your needs. Marcus Aurelius The Stoic philosophy teaches us to embrace events as they occur, recognizing that everything happens for a reason and is part of the larger tapestry of our lives. Acceptance is not about passive resignation, but rather an active acknowledgement of reality, allowing us to find peace and move forward effectively. Imagine a sailor navigating a stormy sea. They cannot control the wind or the waves, but they can adjust their sails and steer their course. Similarly, in life, we encounter events beyond our control. By accepting these events, we conserve our energy for what we can influence, our actions and responses. Acceptance does not mean we condone negative events or give up on making changes. Instead, it means recognizing the reality of the situation and choosing to respond constructively. This approach reduces the emotional turmoil that comes from resisting what is, allowing us to maintain our inner calm and clarity. Consider a professional athlete who faces an unexpected injury. If they resist the reality of their condition, they may fall into despair or frustration. However, by accepting the situation, they can focus on their rehabilitation and recovery, turning a setback into an opportunity for growth and learning. Modern analogies further illustrate this principle. Think of a gardener who plants seeds and nurtures their growth. Despite their best efforts, they cannot control the weather. Acceptance of the natural elements allows the gardener to adapt and make the most of the conditions, rather than lamenting what cannot be changed. To cultivate acceptance, we can practice reframing our thoughts. When faced with a challenging event, instead of asking, why is this happening to me? We can ask, what can I learn from this? This shift in perspective transforms adversity into a valuable lesson, aligning us with the stoic view that every experience contributes to our growth. Mindfulness exercises also support acceptance. By staying present and observing our thoughts and emotions without judgment, we develop a non-resistant attitude toward life's events. Meditation, in particular, helps us practice letting go of resistance and embracing the flow of life. Another practical approach is to use affirmations that reinforce acceptance. Phrases like, I accept this moment as it is, or I am at peace with what happens, can be repeated during times of stress to remind ourselves of the value of acceptance. These affirmations help rewire our mindset to respond calmly to unforeseen circumstances. In the workplace, accepting what happens can be seen in how we handle project setbacks or changes in plans. Instead of resisting these changes, acknowledging them allows us to adapt quickly and find new solutions, demonstrating resilience and flexibility. Personal relationships also benefit from acceptance. By accepting others as they are, without trying to change them, we foster healthier and more harmonious interactions. This acceptance reduces conflict and builds stronger connections based on understanding and respect. Embracing the stoic idea of accepting events as they happen leads to inner peace and resilience. It frees us from the futile struggle against the uncontrollable enabling us to focus on what we can influence. Remember, whatever comes to you is part of your unique journey. Accept it with grace, and you will find the strength to navigate life's challenges with serenity and wisdom. 5. Use reason and logic. Don't let your imagination be crushed by life as a whole. Don't try to picture everything bad that could possibly happen. Stick with the situation at hand. Marcus Aurelius 
The wisdom of Stoicism encourages us to approach challenges with reason and logic, focusing on the present situation rather than being overwhelmed by hypothetical fears. In our daily lives, it is easy to let our minds run wild with worst-case scenarios. However, by grounding ourselves in rational thinking, we can navigate difficulties more effectively. Imagine a surgeon in the operating room. They must remain calm and focused, addressing each step of the procedure logically, rather than being paralyzed by the potential risks. When faced with a problem, break it down into manageable parts. For example, if you are overwhelmed by a large project at work, instead of fixating on the enormity of the task, focus on the immediate steps you can take. Create a plan, prioritize tasks, and tackle them one by one. This methodical approach ensures progress and prevents the mind from becoming overwhelmed. Using modern analogies, consider a chess player. They do not worry about every possible move their opponent might make throughout the entire game. Instead, they focus on the current position and the best move they can make at that moment. By applying this strategic thinking to our problems, we can make clear and rational decisions that lead to effective solutions. When applying reason and logic to address problems, start by defining the issue clearly and specifically. Collect all necessary information related to the problem, such as researching, consulting experts, or reviewing past experiences. Break down the problem into smaller, more manageable components, analyzing each part individually to understand its impact and potential solutions. List all possible solutions, evaluating the pros and cons of each and considering the potential outcomes. Make a decision based on what aligns best with your goals and values, trusting in your ability to handle the consequences. After implementing a solution, regularly review the results and adjust your approach as needed based on what you have learned. This continuous improvement process is key to effective problem solving, ensuring that you approach challenges with clarity, purpose, and resilience. For example, if you are dealing with financial stress, start by assessing your current financial situation. Gather all necessary information, such as income, expenses, debts, and savings. Break down the problem by identifying areas where you can cut costs or increase income. Consider various options like budgeting, negotiating bills, or finding additional sources of income. Make a decision and implement your plan, then regularly review your progress and make adjustments as needed. In personal relationships, approaching conflicts with reason and logic can lead to healthier resolutions. Instead of reacting emotionally, take a step back and analyze the situation objectively. Communicate your concerns clearly and listen to the other person's perspective. Work together to find a solution that benefits both parties. By using reason and logic, we prevent our imagination from being crushed by life's challenges. We learn to address the situation at hand with clarity and purpose, making effective decisions that lead to positive outcomes. Remember, your mind is a powerful tool. Use it wisely, and you will find strength in the face of adversity. 6. Reframe your perspective. The soul becomes dyed with the color of its thoughts. Marcus Aurelius. In the realm of Stoic wisdom, the power of perspective cannot be overstated. The way we choose to perceive our experiences profoundly influences our reality. Just as the soul is colored by our thoughts, our outlook on life shapes our emotional and mental state. When faced with adversity, reframing our thoughts can transform our experience, turning obstacles into opportunities for growth. To reframe your perspective, start by challenging negative thoughts. Ask yourself if your current viewpoint is the only way to interpret the situation. For instance, instead of seeing a setback as a failure, Consider it a lesson learned or an opportunity to develop resilience. Use modern analogies such as seeing a glass as half full rather than half empty to shift your mindset from scarcity to abundance. Another technique is to practice gratitude. By focusing on what you have rather than what you lack, you can cultivate a more positive outlook. Keep a gratitude journal where you note down things you're thankful for each day. This practice helps shift your focus from negative events to positive aspects of your life. Visualization is also a powerful tool. 
Imagine the best possible outcome of a challenging situation. Visualize yourself overcoming obstacles and achieving your goals. This not only boosts your confidence, but also aligns your thoughts with positive actions. Lastly, engage in constructive self-talk. Replace self-defeating thoughts with affirmations of your strengths and capabilities. Instead of thinking, I can't handle this, tell yourself, I am capable and strong enough to get through this. By consciously choosing to reframe your thoughts, you can change your experience, infusing your life with a sense of purpose and resilience. 7. Take action. First, say to yourself what you would be, and then do what you have to do. Epictetus. In the teachings of Stoicism, taking action is essential for overcoming challenges and achieving personal growth. It is not enough to merely think or plan, one must also take deliberate steps to turn thoughts into reality. By committing to action, we transform intention into progress and regain a sense of control over our lives. The importance of taking action, even in small steps, cannot be overstated. Consider modern analogies such as the journey of a thousand miles beginning with a single step. Each small action you take accumulates, leading to significant progress over time. For instance, if you're struggling with a daunting project, break it down into manageable tasks and tackle them one by one. This method not only makes the task less overwhelming, but also provides a sense of accomplishment as you complete each step. Proactive behavior is a powerful antidote to feelings of helplessness. When you take action, you assert your agency and influence over your circumstances. This shift from passivity to activity can boost your confidence and foster a sense of empowerment. For example, if you're facing a personal conflict, taking the initiative to communicate openly and honestly can pave the way for resolution and understanding. Moreover, action fuels momentum. Once you start moving forward, it becomes easier to continue. This is akin to the principle of inertia in physics. An object in motion tends to stay in motion. By taking that first step, no matter how small, you set the stage for ongoing progress and development. Remember, it is the doing that brings about change, not just the thinking. As Epictetus wisely advises, determine who you want to be, and then take the necessary actions to become that person. By embodying this principle, you cultivate a proactive mindset that is resilient in the face of adversity. 8. Keep your virtues intact. Hold fast to this alone. The only thing that belongs to you is your reasoned choice. Epictetus. In the Stoic tradition, maintaining one's virtues is paramount, especially during challenging times. Honesty, courage, integrity, and other virtues form the bedrock of a strong character guiding your actions and decisions regardless of external circumstances. These virtues are your moral compass, providing direction and clarity when the path forward seems uncertain. During tough times, it can be tempting to compromise your values for the sake of expediency or relief. However, it is precisely in these moments that holding fast to your virtues is most crucial. Consider the modern analogy of a lighthouse guiding ships through a storm. Just as the lighthouse stands firm, providing a constant point of reference amidst turbulent seas, your virtues can offer stability and direction when faced with adversity. Sticking to your values not only preserves your integrity but also strengthens your inner resilience. When you act in alignment with your core principles, you cultivate self-respect and inner peace. For example, if you are faced with a difficult decision at work, choosing the path of honesty and fairness even if it is more challenging, reinforces your commitment to integrity and earns the respect of those around you. Moreover, maintaining your virtues provides a sense of continuity and identity. In a world that is often unpredictable and uncontrollable, your values remain a constant aspect of who you are. This continuity can be a source of comfort and strength, helping you navigate through life's uncertainties with a steady and confident demeanor. To embody this principle, Reflect on your core values and commit to upholding them in every situation. Whether it is demonstrating courage in the face of fear, honesty in the face of deceit, or integrity in the face of corruption, let your reasoned choice guide you. 
As Epictetus wisely advises, the only thing that truly belongs to you is your ability to choose your response. By keeping your virtues intact, you ensure that your actions are always guided by the highest standards, providing a foundation of strength and stability through all of life's challenges. 9. Find Strength in Community We are waves of the same sea, leaves of the same tree, flowers of the same garden. Seneca In the Stoic tradition, the interconnectedness of humanity is a profound source of strength and resilience. We are not isolated beings. Rather, we are part of a greater whole, sharing our lives with others who can offer support, wisdom, and companionship. Recognizing this interconnectedness, especially during difficult times, can significantly lighten our burdens and provide much-needed solace. Seeking support from friends, family, or community is not a sign of weakness, but of wisdom. Just as a tree thrives through the collective strength of its leaves, branches, and roots, individuals flourish when they are supported by a network of caring relationships. Modern analogies, such as the teamwork seen in successful sports teams or the collaborative efforts in community projects, illustrate the power of collective strength. These groups achieve more together than any individual could alone, demonstrating the importance of unity and mutual support. When facing hardships, sharing your experiences with others who understand or have faced similar challenges can be incredibly uplifting. This shared experience fosters empathy and provides a sense of belonging. For instance, support groups for individuals going through similar struggles, whether it be illness, loss, or other life challenges, offer a space for shared healing and understanding. The simple act of knowing you are not alone in your struggles can be a tremendous relief. Moreover, communities provide practical support that can make a tangible difference. This might include emotional encouragement, advice, or even physical assistance with daily tasks. The bonds formed through these supportive interactions create a safety net that can catch you when you falter and lift you when you are down. To find strength in community, actively seek out and nurture these connections. Engage with those around you, share your experiences, and offer your support in return. Whether it is through joining a local group, reaching out to family and friends, or participating in community activities, building and maintaining these relationships is crucial. Remember Seneca's words, we are waves of the same sea. And by coming together, we can navigate even the stormiest of seas with greater ease and resilience. 10. Reflect on past triumphs. Look back over the past with its changing empires that rose and fell and you can foresee the future too. Marcus Aurelius. Reflection on past triumphs is a powerful practice that can provide both perspective and confidence when facing current difficulties. By looking back at the challenges you have overcome, you gain a clearer understanding of your own resilience and capabilities. This reflection serves as a reminder of your strength and ability to navigate adversity. Consider the many empires throughout history that have risen and fallen, as Marcus Aurelius suggests. These events illustrate the impermanence of even the most formidable challenges and the resilience of those who endure them. By contemplating the past, you can foresee how current struggles, no matter how daunting, will eventually pass and lead to new opportunities. Reflecting on your personal history, recall specific instances where you faced significant obstacles and managed to overcome them. For example, think about a time when you successfully completed a demanding project at work, navigated a difficult personal relationship, or overcame a health issue. These experiences highlight your problem-solving skills, determination, and adaptability. Using modern analogies, consider how athletes review past performances to improve future ones. They analyze what strategies worked, what didn't, and how they can apply these lessons moving forward. Similarly, reflecting on your past victories can help you identify the approaches that were most effective and how you can apply them to current situations. This practice of reflection builds confidence. Knowing that you have successfully dealt with challenges before, you can approach present difficulties with a sense of assurance. It also helps you recognize patterns in your behavior and responses, 
allowing you to refine your strategies for dealing with stress and adversity. To harness this reflective power, set aside time regularly to journal about past challenges and the ways you overcame them. Note the resources you utilized, the support you received, and the personal qualities you relied on. This exercise will not only reinforce your confidence, but also provide a valuable repository of strategies to draw upon in the future. By reflecting on past triumphs, you ground yourself in the reality of your resilience. You understand that, like the empires of old, difficulties rise and fall, but your ability to endure and overcome remains constant. This perspective transforms challenges into opportunities for growth and reaffirms your capability to handle whatever comes your way. Levin, practice gratitude. He is a wise man who does not grieve for the things which he has not, but rejoices for those which he has. Epictetus. Practicing gratitude is a cornerstone of a resilient and fulfilling life. In times of hardship, it is especially important to shift focus from what is lacking to what is present and abundant in our lives. Gratitude transforms our mindset, bringing us peace and contentment even amidst challenges. The wisdom of Epictetus reminds us that a wise person does not lament over what they do not possess but instead finds joy in what they have. This shift in perspective is crucial for maintaining mental and emotional well-being. By recognizing and appreciating the positive aspects of our lives, we can counterbalance the weight of our struggles. Consider the modern analogy of a glass being half full or half empty. When we focus on what is missing, we perpetuate a sense of lack and dissatisfaction. However, when we appreciate what is present, we cultivate a sense of abundance and contentment. This simple shift in focus can have profound effects on our overall outlook and mood. To integrate gratitude into daily life, start by keeping a gratitude journal. Each day, write down three things you are thankful for. These can be as simple as a warm cup of coffee, a supportive friend, or a moment of laughter. Over time, this practice trains your mind to seek out and recognize the positives in your life, even during difficult periods. Another practical method is to express gratitude to others. Acknowledge and thank the people who contribute positively to your life. This not only strengthens your relationships, but also reinforces your awareness of the support and kindness surrounding you. Incorporate moments of gratitude into your daily routine. Upon waking, take a few moments to reflect on something you are grateful for before starting your day. Similarly, before going to bed, review the day's events and find aspects to appreciate. These small practices can significantly enhance your sense of well-being and resilience. Additionally, mindfulness exercises can deepen your practice of gratitude. During meditation or quiet reflection, focus on the sensations and experiences you are thankful for in the present moment. This practice helps anchor you in the here and now, fostering a sense of peace and contentment. Gratitude does not eliminate difficulties but equips you with a mindset that can better withstand them. By celebrating what you have, you build a reservoir of positive emotions that can sustain you through tough times. This practice of gratitude, as Epictetus suggests, leads to a wiser, more fulfilled life. It reminds us that even in the midst of hardship, there is always something to be thankful for, which in turn makes us stronger and more resilient. 12. Simplify your life. Very little is needed to make a happy life. It is all within yourself, in your way of thinking. Marcus Aurelius. In the pursuit of happiness and contentment, one of the most profound yet often overlooked practices is simplification. Marcus Aurelius reminds us that true happiness is not derived from external possessions or achievements, but from within ourselves shaped by our mindset and approach to life. Simplifying our lives can significantly reduce stress and increase our sense of fulfillment. Modern life is filled with complexities and distractions that can overwhelm us. We accumulate material possessions, chase after numerous goals, and engage in endless activities that drain our energy and attention. By stripping away the non-essential, we create space for what truly matters, allowing us to focus on our core values and goals. 
Imagine your life as a garden. If it's overcrowded with weeds and unnecessary plants, the flowers you truly care about will struggle to thrive. By weeding out the unnecessary, you give your prized plants the room and resources they need to flourish. Similarly, by simplifying your life, you allow your true passions and values to shine. To begin simplifying, start with decluttering your physical space. Remove items that no longer serve a purpose or bring you joy. This act alone can bring a sense of relief and clarity. A clean, organized environment can positively influence your mental state, making it easier to focus and feel at peace. Next, evaluate your commitments and responsibilities. Identify activities and obligations that drain your energy without adding significant value to your life. Prioritize tasks and engagements that align with your core values and contribute to your long-term goals. Learning to say no to non-essential demands is a powerful step towards simplification. Consider also the digital clutter in your life. Unplug from constant notifications and reduce time spent on social media and other distracting online activities. Instead, dedicate time to activities that nourish your mind and spirit, such as reading, meditating, or spending quality time with loved ones. Simplifying your mental and emotional life is equally important. Practice mindfulness to stay present and fully engage with each moment. Avoid overthinking and worrying about the future or dwelling on the past. Focus on the present, where life truly happens. Another effective strategy is to adopt minimalism in your decision-making. Limit choices in areas such as clothing, meals, and routines. This reduces decision fatigue and frees up mental energy for more important matters. For instance, having a capsule wardrobe with a few versatile pieces can make dressing simpler and less time-consuming. Finally, cultivate gratitude and contentment with what you have. Appreciate the simple pleasures in life, such as a walk in nature, a good book, or a conversation with a friend. Recognize that happiness is not found in the abundance of possessions, but in the richness of experiences and relationships. By simplifying your life, you create a space for inner peace and clarity. You align more closely with your true self and values, leading to a deeper sense of happiness and fulfillment. As Marcus Aurelius teaches, very little is needed to make a happy life. It all lies within your way of thinking and approach to living. Simplify, and you will discover that the essentials for a joyful and meaningful life are already within your grasp. 13. Embrace impermanence. Consider that before long you will be nobody and nowhere, like all the things you see now and all the people who are now alive. Marcus Aurelius. In the Stoic tradition, a profound understanding of impermanence serves as a cornerstone for navigating life's challenges with grace and resilience. Marcus Aurelius reminds us of the transitory nature of all things, urging us to recognize that everything we experience, both the joys and the hardships, is temporary. Understanding impermanence means acknowledging that everything, including ourselves and our circumstances, is in a constant state of flux. This awareness can be a powerful tool in helping us accept and move through difficult times. Just as the seasons change and the tides ebb and flow, so too do the phases of our lives. Embracing this natural rhythm allows us to navigate our challenges with a sense of perspective and calm. Imagine life as a river, continuously flowing and changing its course. Sometimes the water runs smooth and clear. Other times, it encounters obstacles and turbulence. By accepting that change is inevitable and natural, we can learn to ride the currents of life without being overwhelmed by them. This perspective helps us to let go of the need to control every aspect of our lives and instead focus on how we respond to what happens. Modern analogies can further illuminate this concept. Consider the rise and fall of empires, technological advancements, or even the transient nature of trends and fashions. What is popular or significant today may be forgotten tomorrow. Recognizing this can free us from the pressure of clinging to current circumstances or outcomes. We become more adaptable and resilient, understanding that difficult times are just one phase in the broader journey of life. Embracing impermanence also encourages us to cherish the present moment. When we fully grasp that everything is temporary, 
we are more likely to appreciate and savor the here and now. This mindfulness can enrich our experiences, deepen our relationships, and enhance our overall well-being. Instead of lamenting the past or worrying about the future, we find contentment and peace in the present. To put this into practice, start by reflecting on the transient nature of your own life. Acknowledge the changes you have already experienced and how they have shaped you. Use this reflection to gain perspective on current difficulties, knowing they too will pass. Meditation and mindfulness practices can also help you stay grounded in the present moment and cultivate an acceptance of change. Another practical step is to let go of attachment to specific outcomes. When we become overly fixated on how things should be, we set ourselves up for disappointment and frustration. Instead, focus on doing your best in any given situation and accept whatever results from your efforts. This approach aligns with the stoic principle of focusing on what is within our control and releasing what is not. Lastly, cultivate gratitude for the fleeting beauty and joy in your life. Appreciate the small, everyday moments and the people who enrich your journey. By recognizing their temporary nature, you can develop a deeper sense of appreciation and fulfillment. Embracing impermanence allows us to move through life with greater ease and wisdom. It teaches us to accept change, let go of unnecessary attachments, and find peace in the present moment. As Marcus Aurelius eloquently reminds us, everything we see and experience will eventually fade away. By accepting this reality, we can navigate our days with resilience and grace, finding strength in the ever-changing flow of life. Now that you have the tools and knowledge on how to prepare for hard days, you need the discipline to apply what you've learned. Remember, resilience and wisdom come from consistent practice and thoughtful action. In the next video, you'll learn how to master self-discipline, the key to turning these principles into daily habits and achieving lasting strength and tranquility. Stay tuned and be ready to take the next step in your stoic journey.